How's it going everyone? Today we're going to be talking about post-op nipple scar care which is a topic that's often not talked about by a lot of YouTubers or medical professionals who are giving advice on trans mask individuals who have undergone top surgery. And no, it's not post-op nipple care that I'm talking about which is often numerously covered which is putting the gauze on top of the nipples and making sure that they heal effectively so that you get a good graft. It's not about that. It's actually about doing the post-op scar treatment. So after you're done applying the bandages and then your nipple has gotten a really good graft, it might be a little bit hypopigmented but will gain its pigmentation over time. I'm not, I'm talking about the phase after you apply the bandages and the doctor tells you, hey, you can walk around free with your nipples out. And if you've been wondering if I have walked around free with my nipples out. I don't think I have, but I've definitely posted a lot of pics on Instagram. So the reason why I really want to talk about this is because the nipples, especially if you have a double incision top surgery or any type of incision that requires you to have the nipple displaced, taken out, and then regrafted into your body, the doctor makes stitches around your nipple, right? The doctor will make stitches around that nipple and adhere it back into the skin. Now, if you have periolar, I believe that the nipple stays intact to where they are, so you don't have to worry about that. But for a lot of people who have bigger chests, they need to have a nipple graft done, which there is going to be that stitch around that nipple for the time that you have the surgery. And then the, that stitch will either dissolve or fall off over time. And that's when you need to start worrying about nipple scar care. And the reason why I'm emphasizing taking care of that nipple scar is because you will see with a lot of trans men, they report that their nipple over time, over the years, will start fading or um, changing. Like it starts, that little perfect circle is not so perfect anymore. And the way, what, the reason why I want to make this video is if you do want that perfect circle, there are ways to make sure that they stay as close to a circle as possible. I can't guarantee that they'll stay perfect forever, but if you want to retain that shape of that nipple over time as the years go by, you definitely should be watching this video because I talk about how to take care of those nipples to make sure they retain their shape as much as possible. So the primary scar advice that actually does decrease your uh, scar appearance is on double incision top surgery or only t any type of top surgery that causes a, a horizontal scar is silicone scar tape, which is the most clinically proven way of reducing the look of scars, especially in people of color and people who are prone to hypertrophic and keloid scars. However, if you've used silicone scar tape in the past, you'll realize that they're not very good at being pliable and they're sticky and they're hard to use. So you have to be very careful where even when you're applying a strip to your top surgery scar, how the heck are you going to make sure that you can cut out a silicone piece of tape to look like your nipple and not cover your nipple but go around your nipple. It's really hard to do. And there's actually a YouTuber out there that has cut little strips and done the duty of taking the time and making the silicone go around his nipple and you will see that his nipple actually looks really good. I believe his name is Mac. You can even look him up. You want to put silicone around your nipple because silicone is really good at preventing any type of pulling or shear stress against that nipple. As we become more mobile after top surgery, we're going to be reaching for things similar that we do with our horizontal scars on our chest and th those scars stretch as well and silicone keeps that from happening. So if you apply the same logic to your nipple scars, it will prevent your nipple scars from stretching out as well. But the solution, the much, much easier solution than cutting a silicone tape around your nipple and wasting about an hour doing that almost every day is to buy silicone gel. And yes, they are available with numerous different brands out there that you can get. The way silicone gel works is very similar to silicone tape in that it's a liquid form of silicone that goes around scars and silicone tape tends to be a bit more firm but and silicone gel tends to be a bit more flexible but they have very very similar effects and it will definitely help your nipples heal better. Although I will recommend again wait for that six weeks, wait for those incisions to come off of your nipple before you start applying silicone gel because you might be doing more harm if you start too early. So the standard area of time that I ask my doctor is wait six weeks. So you will have to wait longer than you would 
for the scar care of your um, top surgery chest scar. So the silicone gel that I use is called Biocurnium and it is probably one of the more expensive brands out there. I have bought the 50 gram one which is the biggest size you can get for about 60 bucks but I will emphasize even though it does sound expensive I will probably be using this for six months and it'll probably have a lot more than this. So you can get the smaller size as well and I think the smaller one is about $40 and you don't even need a lot of this to make it work. And let's say you do buy this $60 version. For six months of use, that's about $10 each month. So it's not that expensive and you can get it um, cheaper on certain websites. So definitely look out for it. But definitely look out for fakes as well. There are cheaper alternative brands out there such as ScarGuard and also Moderma PM makes a specific silicone gel out there that you can get from online retailers. So definitely look it out look 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 out for it because Moderma I think is the cheapest one you can get that is a brand name. Now I'm going to be showing you all how to apply this silicone gel onto my nipples. It's really simple and you honestly don't need a lot at all. All you do is uncap it, right? And this is the this is the nozzle right here and you just squeeze just a little bit. You will see it's not even a lot. So what you do is one tap on this side of the nipple, one tap on this side of the nipple, and you just mesh it together. Beautiful. And then you just repeat on the other side. So again, not a lot at all. One tap, second tap, and circle, 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 loop-de-doop. And you're done. You let it dry up. So you should wait five minutes shirtless. And then you'll be able to put on your shirt Go on about the rest of your day. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you found it informational and I hope you found it helpful for your scar care needs. And if you like this video, please be sure to share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to keep up with my life. I do a lot of photography on the side and also talk about my experience as being transgender in medical school. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Mwah. This is Ben.